You saw the wickedness of man. I knew you would not look away. This new Noah from Black Swan, auteur Darren Aronofsky, starring Russell Crowe in the title role, and Jennifer Connelly as his loyal and loving wife, is hardly the first time that the film industry has tackled this story from the Bible's Book of Genesis. One of the earliest screen versions was the 1928 Warner Brothers film, Noah's Ark, which was not directed by Cecil B. DeMille, as you might have thought, but by Hungarian transplant Michael Curtiz. Undoubtedly, Curtiz was influenced by DeMille's 1927 version, silent film version of King of Kings. Made before CGI existed, of course, films such as Noah's Ark could use miniatures or stop motion or full-scale props for their special effects. In shooting the flood sequence, enormous tanks released huge quantities of water and a terrible accident occurred, killing three stunt persons and injuring many more. One young extra who swam to safety was a young man by the name of Marion Morrison. You probably know him better as John Wayne. This new Noah has been in the news because of a supposed conflict between director and co-writer Aronofsky and Paramount Pictures, the studio distributing the film. Harvard film graduate Aronofsky's indie film background has undoubtedly produced a Noah that's a little bit offbeat. It's a lot, it's less Cecil B. DeMille, or Michael Curtiz for that matter, than Carlos Castaneda. But it's a lot of fun. It's kind of a trippy mix between Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings, complete with talking with stone giants, one of whom is voiced by gravelly-throated Nick Nolte. With his gruff and burly demeanor and warrior-like fighting abilities, Russell Crowe's Noah is going to remind a lot of people of a certain gladiator by the name of Maximus. And I'm sure Paramount is happy about that. And like Lord of the Rings, the CGI effects are really crucial to this story and not just used for superhero destruction porn. To paraphrase Maximus, unleash this flood!